The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Local view showing that it is all quiet for us right now. May have actually had a little shower or sprinkle in areas south of 460 uh, before the sun rose this morning, but throughout the daylight hours today, the clouds did break for more in the way of sunshine. Have a couple of showers as close to us as eastern, north, and south Carolina with more rain situated offshore, but our weather's coming from the west, and to the west, it's very quiet, an indicator that high pressure is going to rule the roost for us here for the next couple of days. So for tonight, we are looking at skies for the most part fair may see a little more cloud cover south and a little bit more in the way of clear skies to the north here overnight. Otherwise, Monday looks to be a day where we see a nice mix of sun and clouds, probably more sunshine than cloud cover throughout the day on Monday, and we're going to be dry all day. Now tomorrow night, we're looking at uh, skies uh, mostly clear to partly cloudy. There'll be some cloud cover in and out of our backyards Monday night, and then Tuesday should be another day where we see uh, mainly sunny skies. So overall, the early part of this upcoming work week looks to be very quiet for us weather wise. Now, the humidity this week will stay low, okay? We're not really looking at any bona fide rain chances here anytime soon. I will tell you that there will be a cold front that will start to get its act together out across our nation's heartland. And you'll notice that additional humidity, that additional moisture showed in green here uh, by the time we look at the middle of the week. Uh, that will bring the chance for some rain, uh, say from Texas, North and Illinois by the time Wednesday rolls around. And that could be our next weather maker here locally. We'll We'll probably start to see additional cloud cover working its way in Thursday late afternoon into Thursday night, just in time for the trick or treaters. Uh, but we're going to be dry as the trick or treaters go out and gather their candy. I think our best chance for rain and it will just be some spotty showers will likely come on Friday. OK, so about a 30 percent chance for a few showers here as we close out this upcoming work week. Best chance will be in the mountains, lower chances further east. 44 right now in Hot Springs, 53 with 55 in Roanoke, middle 50s also in Lynchburg. You're at 57 in Rocky Mountain, also in Danville. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone, 64 in the Roanoke Valley, also in the Lynchburg zone, lower 60s in the NRV, including Blacksburg, 66 in Danville. That puts us tomorrow very close to average for this time of year. Now, while we're going to be on the cool side tomorrow, it is going to warm up <laughs> big time in our nation's heartland. We are looking at record high temperatures possible from Oklahoma City through Chicago and Milwaukee, and we're going to get a taste of that warmth here by the middle of the week. Certainly temperatures are going to skyrocket for us here as we had no Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday Halloween looks to be our warmest day this week where a couple of us could actually get close to 80 degrees. Overnight lows tonight mainly in the 30s. A couple of spots may be in the lower 40s, but again, tonight looks to be very, very chilly. Frost is possible for the day tomorrow. Highs mainly in the 60s. Higher terrain may stay in the 50s. Lower 70s Tuesday, middle 70s Wednesday, upper 70s to near 80 on Thursday. There's that chance for rain on Friday. Again, a pretty low chance behind that front. Temperatures cool down on Saturday, but right now this upcoming weekend looks dry. Back to you.